Hello everybody to another Asian Cup update. Again, I only saw highlights, but one thing I can say for sure, if you watched my preview, I said that the Asian Cup was at least uh, the last time around quite boring because there weren't any upsets and any draws. Well, that's already out of the window completely. I think everything that happened today qualifies as an upset. Every, everything that happened so far qualifies as an upset at the Asian Cup. So it makes it a little bit more exciting. Uh, let's quickly look at the results. The first game today was between Jordan and Australia, the holders, of course, and Jordan wins it 1-0 uh, from a corner kick. Nice uh, header in, I think it was in the 25th minute. Let's uh, pull up the stats here. The, yeah, 26th minute by Anas Bani Yassin. A <laughs> um, few minutes later, free kick. Um, I'm not sure if the keeper saved it to the bar uh, or not, but um, it hit the bar. So it could have been 2-0 for uh, Jordan and probably very well deserved at that point. Australia, of course, got it going later on, um, had quite some chances. The keeper saved, uh, Jordan's keeper saved quite some uh, balls onto the goal. There was uh, Australia hit once the post. I think it was always mostly Rogic, Rogic. Uh, that had was always involved. Um, then they finally scored a goal and it's not given for offside. Um, and yeah, so Australia loses. I told you in my preview, I don't trust Australia. Uh, this, this time I didn't expect them to lose to Jordan. Um, and Jordan is not what I would consider the second strongest team in this group, although it's, um, you know, Syria, um, uh, Pal Palestine, it's maybe a little bit more even there. But Australia is just... From my point, I still thought that Australia is the strongest team. Obviously, they're not, and I think that all those uh, Arab world teams have um, quite some home field advantage uh, playing in U UAE. That was already standard. The next one, honestly, it was not as big of a name matchup between Thailand and India, but that was for me the biggest standard. First of all, India gets a um, penalty to make it 1-0. I think right around the 27th, yeah, Chetri, Sunil Chetri, uh, converts to Pan Penalty, it was kind of, a, if I remember, it was kind of a softish penalty again. Um, not 100% now, but I, I think I remember that one, that it was kind of weird, or, or was it a different game? Anyway, India got a penalty, makes it 1-0, um, then um, shortly thereafter, Thailand equalizes, and I'm going to do Terasa Dangda. I want to get those names, but I, I will never remember them. So I'm going to read them. Terasil Dangda made the equalizer. And that's what, what you would expect. A quick response. Thailand is considered to be the second strongest team in the team's group. I mean, if you saw my preview, they were kind of, it was a last chance for them to do something. And um, everyone was kind of counting on them to show up. Uh, India is, despite being a huge, huge country, still on the soccer stage and nobody. And then what they did in the second half, uh, beggars belief. They scored three goals, another one by Chetri, uh, right, uh, right off the start of the game, I think second minute of the second half, 47th. Uh, a little bit later, they make it 3-1. Uh, Anuit uh, Tapa, and then in the 81st, Lepehula makes it 4-1, 4-1 to India. They have actually great jerseys, uh, the white with the orange flames. I like that one. I know that the home home is the same thing in blue. I always find it odd that India is playing in blue. I um, have to do some re research on that. Uh, the Thai jerseys look nice, but they're not as exciting, but they have an exciting um, supplier. Uh, I think uh, Jordan is playing in Yako Kids. Kids. And then the last game, Syria against Palestine, 0-0. Syria, of course, having the better of the game, but Palestine getting the first ever point at the Asian Cup. So that also, despite not being very exciting with a 0-0, um, also qualifies as a major upset. Uh, a Palestine player was sent off for next to no reason. They won't. I don't know whether there's VAR at the Asian Cup. I heard, I read today that Eurosport is showing some games, but it's there's no schedule to it, so I'm not even trying. And honestly, if I can choose between La Liga and the Asian Cup, 
La Liga wins at any point. So for that reason, I have not pay, I have not seen anything, but I make it a habit now to watch all the highlights that are posted on YouTube, which are only two minute highlights. I would like to see five or ten minutes highlight. But yeah, that means India leads Group A ahead of Bahrain and the UAE, and Jordan leads Group B. And Australia is last. Who would have thought that? Let me know if you saw anything of the Asian Cup, how things are going there. Uh, fill me in. Feel free to fill me in if you see more. I'm uh, very open to that. As I said, I'm not following the Asian Cup very closely, but I want to watch the highlights every day. So to stay a little bit up to date what's ha happening and um, I will probably try to get us some information on jerseys and make an Asian Cup jersey review uh, at least once we have seen everything I think it would be really interesting to do that because uh, from what I could gather yesterday it's not all 100% serious information but a there are some interesting jerseys in there there are lots of suppliers in there I mean Nike is almost not there Adidas is almost not there um, I don't think I've seen a Puma jersey so that makes for an interesting tournament. And Macron only supplies one nation. It's a lot of Yako, Ulsport, and all those kind of, and then some Asian brands. So that makes it for sure in interesting. I'm looking forward to doing it. I really, really want to do that, but uh, give me some time on that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.